everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back at it again today working on these wall surfaces in the greenhouse. If you look behind you, you can see I got quite a bit done yesterday. I got all the verticals in that area and this morning I did a bunch of the horizontal boards. Uh, you can see the bean plants over there behind you are uh, they're looking a little bit in rough shape. I had to kind of get them down out of my way and uh, then once I put up the boards I kind of use some screws and some strings to try to get them up there. I think they'll probably like, you know, puff up back later, but uh, you know, good luck to them. <laughs> I gotta continue on along here. I'm uh, making uh, some short little attachment points here. Here's gonna be one of them, another here, 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 and here. Uh, I got the idea this was not not something I planned initially, but in looking at this, I was thinking, well, why don't I just continue these boards all the way across? I mean, unless I wanna preserve this beautiful concrete surface here. So I am gonna continue them all the way across. I've got the middle po connection point here determined there uh, based on my uh, available board lengths so I can minimize scrap. So one here, one here, and one here. Uh, I'm just about to drill this thing into the concrete as usual on this camera. Uh, we'll see how much of this gets included in the video because the battery doesn't last very long. But we'll do the best we can. I already uh, did level and made a little mark. And we're going to drill our hole. Double checking to make sure I'm in the right place still. I am. Got this guard set. <laughs> I found out yesterday actually if I leave the board up and I do the drilling, it doesn't kick up as much dust at me. So I'm going to leave the board here. And that's really important for driving the, uh, the tap cotton screws in. They have a lot of trouble if they uh, are uh, if there's debris in those channels. And this is a little registration hook for the uh, top. I'm taking that off. Don't need that anymore. Gonna Put the proper bit on here for driving in the tap cones. It's a 5 16 bit for these particular ones. Not all tap cones are the same. These have the 5 16 head though. Alright. And just get them started. One on the top, one on the bottom. And here are those little spacers like I was using yesterday. I hope we can get some of this in the video. It's a little frustrating. To, okay, this, I think this, this screw looks like it's been used before and it's uh, spinning around in there. I don't want to mess with uh, mess with it today. Just get them in there. Okay, so get the spacers in. Yeah, anyway, I was saying uh, it's frustrating that the uh, uh, the camera doesn't always record the full video run because uh, the battery's getting old and the series is so unpopular that uh, there's just there's not the financial resources to go and get a new camera or a new battery or anything like that because actually when I, I started running this series again I lost 102 subs on my channel because people were so disinterested in the idea of actually uh, you know building this stuff for yourself so uh, 102 people took the, took the time to unsubscribe when I started this series again that's how much people love it. All right, here we go. Hold that in. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now you gotta go to low gear. One in, and now bottom one. All right, there we go. So uh, now I'm gonna be able to continue the boards right across the bottom after I put another uh, connection point here and one over there, and then I'll add two over there for the boards going all the way around. That's it. Thanks for watching.